cuties. Guess who's back? Back again on this Monday night, May the 14th, be with you. My East Coast kids, thanks for staying up past your bedtime. You made the right decision. Did you happen to watch The Voice tonight on NBC? Did you happen to see me hanging with Carson Daly, announcing a special voice-themed show featuring a $50,000 prize, a chance to win tickets to The Voice finale, and special appearances by voice coaches? Well, this is it. Welcome, make yourselves comfortable, kick off your shoes, pour yourself a drink, warm yourselves by the glow of your phone, and let's play HQ, the live mobile game show where we answer questions to win cash. I'm your host with a challah, French toast, a.k.a. Quiz Khalifa, a.k.a. Host Malone, a.k.a. Quizzy McGuire, a.k.a. Pat Slajak, a.k.a. Regis Trilbin, a.k.a. Carson Twice Daily, a.k.a. the Fresh Prince of On Air, a.k.a. the Sexiest Man Alive. Whoa, 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 Scott whoa, whoa, Rigel. whoa, whoa. B- Sexiest Man Alive? Uh, Blake Shelton. That's actually me, a.k.a. Waylon Winnings, a.k.a. Garth Bucks, a.k.a. Bank Williams, a.k.a. Brad Pays Me, a.k.a. Johnny Giving Out Cash, a.k.a. Sexiest Man Alive. Deal with it, Scott. The actual sexiest man alive. Okay, how about this? Can we? Can I be like the sexiest Jewish man alive? Okay. I was voted sexiest man alive by Hadassah Magazine. Yeah, it's good. Uh, look, yeah, Blake, you, you, you interrupted my intro right here. Are people we're, watching this? Yeah, oh, a lot of people. 1.4 oh God, million. Get up, look at all these people, here. Blake. I don't want to be on here. So, okay, well, Solly's playing, a German exchange, exchange student, feeling a little homesick. Hope Blake is making you feel better. Doris5913 is playing. Oh, Penis. I know Doris. Oh, oh, I know oh Doris. Blake knows Doris. Yeah. Penis00, zero, zero, Hughes Hancock, Lacey, Christine, Rebecca, Nicole, Alex, Sean, Angela, Jazzy Rock turning 22, Ryan McKenna turning 14, Alyssa turned 21 yesterday, and Elizabeth Stone who graduated. Mazel tov. Are you joining me for the first time tonight? I officially anoint you an H cutie. You're on Team Scott now. Let me coach you through this thing so you can win the big bucks, all right? I ask 12 questions. Three answer choices pop up on your screen. Tap the right one. Move on to the next round. If you answer all 12 correctly, you're going to win a piece of a $50,000 prize. Yes, 50 k And one lucky winner will be flown to L.A. and get the two tickets to next week's season finale of The Voice. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. What? Uh, hi. Kelly. That's my song, Kelly dude. Clarkson. Yeah, you don't see me still in your nitty-gritty thing, which isn't funny, by the way. But no, you're, can you're you right. leave my song alone? Yeah, like, get sorry. off my song. All right, sorry. Kelly. All right. Um, you know, cool. I just before you go, I just want you to know that because of you, behind these hazel eyes, I'm stronger. And my life would suck without you. It just got creepy, man. Yeah, it just got creepy. Kelly... Kelly Clarkson. All right. You know how to play. You know what you're playing for now. You watched The Voice earlier, so you're going to know the answer to our special themed questions, right? I hope you paid attention. The stakes are especially high. So make a wish, take a chance, make a change, and break up. my song! Lay off! Loud and clear. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I like saying this, Kelly. Let's get this show on the road with 1.4 million of you live around the world for Cumero Numero Uno. Crying babies are often given what soothing contraption? A fax machine, a pacifier, or a vuvuzela? Cry to me, cry. Make your mother sigh. She's old enough to know better. Crying babies can be even more annoying than the squeal of fax machines or a soccer stadium blasting vuvuzelas. You got a pacifier. Come up in the crib with a lullaby. Yeah, pacifier is your answer at Q1, of course. Keeping it Pacific. 1,375,575 of you getting that one right, crying out for Q2. You're going to get it, baby. According to the song performed by Bryn Cartelli on The Voice tonight, what does the world need now? Love, kidney stones, or truffle mashed potatoes? Did you see Bryn sing? This song? It was so nice. Kelly was there. I was there. No, no one needs kidney stones, right? My team was awesome. Your team was Bryn awesome. was awesome. You know, Bryn is on your team. She's on Team Kelly. and Yes, it's the greatest team. Like, you, don't you agree? I want to be on Team Kelly. Of course. What, what song did she sing tonight? What the world needs now is love. love. Sweet, Sweet love. love. That's right. We kind of did a duet. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. 1,345,113 got it right. I want to be on Team Kelly. Can you can you help me All right. with this? Okay. I've always been in awe of your range. I mean, especially on what does that kill? Yeah, it makes you stronger. 
Yeah. Can we do a little, what doesn't kill you makes you savage? Because we have savage questions here. No. No? No. 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 <laughs> well, I guess we're just going to go to Q3. How about that? I'll, I'll keep working on that myself there. Rogowski is Polish for tone deaf. I guess that's the problem. Q3, the depths of outer space are closest to which of these temperatures? Absolute zero, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. You thought winter in Fargo was bad. Space, space is bed, bath, and beyond brutal. In the outer reaches, far from any star, it's estimated to be negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit, or just about absolute Zero, the coldest conceivable temperature. Yeah, 1,105,751 are going to be packing a parka on their next lunar mission. And we're stepping out of the freezer into Q4 right now. Whiskers mainly help cats with which of these things? Spatial awareness, fighting infection, or digestion? What do those little kitty whiskers do? Huh? What are they good for? Absolutely nothing? No, they're good for something. They are tactile hairs that, at the root, contain nerves that help the cat determine the size and proximity of objects around them. Spatial awareness is your answer. Even in the dark, they use those whiskers. We went from space to spatial awareness. 994,830 are getting whisked away to Q5. The rest of you getting whisker torture. Oh, my dad did that to me all the time. I hated it. Q5. Earlier tonight on The Voice, what Alicia Keys song did I reference? Girl on Fire, Uptown Girl, or Barbie Girl? Remember this? I was... Chatting with Carson, I said, what did I say? What did I say? Was I talking about Uptown Girl? She's been living in her Uptown world, and she's been sung about by Billy Joel. That's not Alicia. Are you a Barbie girl in a Barbie world? Alicia is not. That song was courtesy of Danish Euro dance group Aqua. I said, this game is on fire, in reference to Girl on Fire, of course. 849,515 are simply en fuego. 109,000 thought Alicia does Uptown Girl. Maybe there could be a cover. Maybe a Billy Joel, Alicia Keys collab in the future. I would love to see that. Q6, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil tells the true crime story of what city? Savannah, Charleston, or Atlanta? Oh, Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Atlanta's not the answer. John Barron's record-breaking, best-selling book, published in 1994, later turned into a movie by Clint Eastwood, tells the unsettling tale of a real-life murder mystery that occurred in the sweltering, ghostly southern city of Savannah. Oh, Savannah, Georgia. We have 360,878 with Georgia on their mind, losing almost 500,000 of you there. Are we calling it savagery at Q6? Yes, sir, Rihanna. We just lost more than half the quiz at Q6. What doesn't kill you makes you savage. Kelly, you could have helped me out there. It's still her song. I can't. Q7. What best-selling video game franchise has not been set during a real historic conflict? Gears of War, Call of Duty, or Battlefield? 360,878 left after 1.4 million started. Yes, the Call of Duty games are mostly set in World War II or the future. And Battlefield, well, the first game in the series was called Battlefield 1942, another World War II installation there. But unless we recently invaded the locust horde of planet Sera, Gears of War is purely fiction. 245,127 know their video games. We're switching to Israeli gears to Q8 right now, switching it up. The vast majority of the Serengeti National Park is located in which country? Kenya, Uganda, or Tanzania? Uganda, Tanzania. Kenyan is not near Uganda, but Kenya is. Although a small part of the park does dip into Kenya, as sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti, the vast majority is found in Tanzania. That's right, 80,106 are blessing the rains down in Africa with me tonight. We lost over 160,000, but 80,106, you are no beginner. You're dancing like Chris Penn of Footloose right now, and you're getting Q Niner during my appearance on The Voice tonight. Which coach did the camera cut away to? Alicia Keys, Kelly Clarkson, or Blake Shelton? Oh, ho, ho. you had to be watching for this one. We tweeted it out. I hope you, I hope you got this right. As I was talking with Carson, calling myself the sexiest Jewish man, the camera cut away to the floor below to a bearded bumpkin, Luton Howard, hoisting a travel mug. 
the yeah. Live in the yeah. It was Blake Shelton. Yeah. Blake, what was in the Woo! Woo! He's hooting hard right now. Whoa! There's the mug. There's the famous mug. What was in that mug, Blake? I don't remember. You don't remember? No, I don't. I don't care. But it's but it's having a nice effect on you right now. Blake, you are an Okie. An Okie not from Muskogee, from Ada, nearby. I have to ask, did you ever drop ass with a wing coin? You're not Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I'm not Jimmy Fallon. I'm definitely not. 42,469. Got it right. I'm Young Shelton. That's Blake Shelton. I'm Young Shelton. 42,469. We're watching The Voice, and they got it right. And they're getting Q10 right now. That's right. The three questions left to win $50,000. Q10. Which of these websites is not currently officially blocked in China? Pinterest, Reddit, or Twitter? <laughs> I fooled around and fell in love with Blake Shelton right there and his okey buddy Elvin. I'm not Jimmy Fallon. I'm not Jimmy Fallon. Hashtag not Jimmy Fallon. As of September 2016, over 6 million sites have been blocked in mainland China, including JimmyFallon.com, probably, under their country's internet censorship policy. Some of the big ones, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and SoundCloud. How are the Chinese going to learn about Lil Xan? But Reddit has never caught on in China, so it's not banned over there. 14,591 knew this one. We lost over 30,000. Very Pinteresting. 1.4 million started. We're down to 14,591 for the penultimate question tonight. Q11. It's not about Jimmy Fallon. It's not about Blake. Which of these physics terms gets its name from an Indian scientist? Boson, ferromagnetism, or lepton? Fallon would be easier to say than ferromagnetism. HQ is fun and games until I ask about quantum physics, huh? It's elementary particles, my dear Watson. The self-taught Calcutta-born theoretical physicist Satyendra Nath Bose is remembered today every time bosons are discussed. It's a class of subatomic particles, and 9,493 are no bozos. They know they're bosons, and they are getting Q12, the final round. It all boils down to this $50,000 with 9,493 players left standing after 1.4 million started the game. Remember, 50,000, and one of those winners will be randomly selected to become a guest at The Voices season finale next week, flown to L.A., but you have to answer one more question. Q12, this is it. Michael Keaton has played the same character in films directed by Quentin Tarantino, and who else? Michael Mann, the Coen brothers, or Steven Soderbergh? Michael Keaton. Mr. Mom, Johnny Dangerously, Birdman, the Birdie Birdie Man. Shout out to the late Elmore Leonard, author of some of America's greatest crime novels and source of countless movie adaptations like Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, which featured Michael Keaton as Agent Ray Nicolette, a character he reprised a year later in Steven Soderbergh's Out of Sight. Soderbergh is your answer, and we have 3,519 winners, baby! Gather around, everybody. 3,519 HQDs splitting $50,000 on this special voice show with Blake and Kelly. Look, $14.20 is going to IME or Namna, okay? JP13111, Havoc Z. There's a llama who wants some money. Uh, Mike Wazowski oh, thing. I can't see anymore. There's so yeah. What are those? There's so many winners. That's Mike. Three thousand five hundred nineteen, winning fourteen bucks and some change. How about that, Blake? That's my mom. We did it. Your mom won. <laughs> Your mom won. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. We did Woo! it, guys. How about it? Yeah. Now the question is, who's gonna win, Team Blake or Team Kelly? Me. Yeah. There really isn't a question. Or Team Fallon. Team, Jimmy. Team Jimmy. Why, no, why, why'd you bring him into this? <laughs> I'm not Jimmy Fallon. I'm proud of it. <laughs> we had 1.4 million starting the game. So many of you stuck around to watch. Thanks for playing tonight. Come back tomorrow night to find out who's going to win those tickets. Yes, we're announcing tomorrow night's show, 9 p.m. One lucky winner is winning tickets to the finale at the <laughs> next week's Voice finale. That's right. Woo! That's right, baby. Woo! We're doing it. Also, 3 p.m. Eastern every day. 
That's all for tonight, guys, huh? Peace you got out. it? Peace Until out. tomorrow. I'm Scott. He has a lot Blake. of breath. Yeah, 250,000 are still watching right now. Watching, Blake, man. Shape up. Shape oh, up. Man. I'm Scott Rogowski signing off saying, if you ever fall off the Sears Tower, just go real limp. Because maybe you'll look like a dummy. And people will try to catch you. Because, hey, free dummy. Here's a free dummy right here. Bye, guys! People are watching. People are watching. They watch. They watch.